platform party, please be seated. Welcome, and thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that Red River College campuses are located on the original lands of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, and Dene peoples, and on the homeland of the Métis Nation. My name is Aileen Naidu, and I am Vice President Academic here at the College. It gives me great pleasure to be your host today. At Red River College, including today's event, we are following physical distancing guidelines as set out by Manitoba Public Health. I would like to thank all of the families, friends, supporters, and of course, graduating students for joining us online for this special celebration. Today, we celebrate the achievements of our students graduating from certificate, diploma, and degree programs. An agenda for the ceremony and a complete list of spring 2020 graduates and award winners can be found on our convocation webpage. I would now like to introduce the platform party behind me who have gathered here today to honor our graduates. Beginning with the front row and from my right, Avery Halderson, Vice President Academic, Red River College Students Association. Dr. Christine Watson, Interim President and CEO, Red River College. Charmaine Jennings, Red River College alumnus. Carrie Caldwell, Dean, School of Education, Arts and Sciences. Debbie O'Donnell, Dean, School of Health Sciences and Community Services. Kirk Johnson, Dean, School of Business, Information Technology and Creative Arts, and School of Hospitality and Culinary Arts. Kathleen Kerr, Dean, School of Continuing Education. Tracy Capello, Executive Director, Finance and Campus Services. Dave Rogalski, Executive Director, Student Support Services. Rayanne Thibault, Executive Director, Academic. Dr. Anna Hughes, Director of Enrollment Services and Registrar. Reva Harrison, Executive Director, Strategy and Communication. Melanie Goodmanson, Chief Human Resource Officer. At this time, I would also like to acknowledge the support of the Red River College Board of Governors, the province of Manitoba, and our industry partners. In addition, although they are not with us this afternoon, I would like to acknowledge our instructors, coordinators, and chairs for their commitment to the education of our students. I now call upon our interim president and CEO, Dr. Christine Watson, for her welcoming remarks. Christine. Thank you, Aileen, for that introduction. And a warm welcome to our graduates and their family, friends, and supporters who are watching from home. I'd also like to thank each and every one of our partners in education who are here today, both virtually and as part of our platform party, as well as our team of excellent instructors and staff who are turning, tuning in to today's celebration, including our Board of Governors. Convocation is an important milestone for our students and the college community as a whole. The time and energy spent in acquiring a credential is worth celebrating. And we want to honor and acknowledge your accomplishments and the support of your networks. So even though it's not possible to cross the stage as we would typically do, and this celebration certainly looks a little different than our usual ones, we're excited to explore a new way of recognizing the hard work of our graduates 
through this virtual ceremony. Indeed, your graduation will be one to remember and will be marked in history. All of us at the college recognize that our graduates completed the past term under especially trying circumstances as a global pandemic took its hold on the world. The past few months have challenged all of us in ways many of us could not imagine. And yet, you graduates persevered through it all. We will remember how we still came together this past term and continue to learn and grow under all kinds of new pressures, challenges, and opportunities. Graduates, I hope you take a moment to acknowledge all you have come through and recognize that you've come through it on the other side stronger. I also hope you feel reassured knowing that you're leaving the college with skills that your future employers will need now more than ever as we work to rebuild our economy. And of course, I hope you know that we couldn't be prouder of you and we're so excited for your futures. I also want to take an extra moment to celebrate our faculty. This pandemic posed a myriad of challenges for our faculty, but through the transitions and changes, their goal and ours remained the same, to give you the highest quality of education that our province, our country, and indeed the world needs. Our faculty have been absolutely dedicated to the success of our students and were as determined as ever to help you graduate. Faculty members were quick to adjust their teaching in response to the pandemic and indeed our teachers became students as they learned new ways of teaching and learning. We are so grateful for their adaptability, flexibility and creativity while all the while remaining committed and passionate about education. So I want to say a very big thank you to our faculty, our staff, our chairs and coordinators for their tremendous hard work to help our students reach this important milestone. Graduates, as you embark on a new professional journey, remember you were trained by industry for industry. You aren't just leaving here to start a career. You're leaving here to play a critical role in shaping the future of our province. As disruption and innovation and new technologies continue to change the world of work more than we've ever seen, you will be the ones to keep us moving forward into a future none of us can even imagine. You are ready for this. No matter what direction you choose to pursue next, Red River College has helped provide you with everything you need to, to, to succeed. Your experience has also shown that you possess one of the most in-demand and competitively advantaged qualities there are in today's job market, adaptability and flexibility. Because employers aren't just looking to you to do the work that is needed today, they're looking for you to solve problems and create new paths forward that no one has even considered yet. These may be high expectations, but by working closely with the industries who will be hiring you, we have ensured that you can deliver. Convocation is usually such a formal affair, and we make this great big fuss about you. Well, we hope that you are celebrating wherever you are, and we hope that you're going to have a little fun with it. So to all of the family and friends who are able to join our graduates, from home or around the world, don't hold back. Show your pride, cheer on your graduates, post on social media so we can see your celebrations as well. Congratulations, graduates. We are so very proud of you. Thank you, Christine. I'd like to introduce Lauren Sizik, Chair of Red River College Board of Governors, who sends video greetings on behalf of the board. Thank you, Aileen, for that introduction and hello to everyone who is watching today's celebration from home. Graduates, you will hear many times today, which is a great thing, 
but I want to take this opportunity to extend a big congratulations to all of you and acknowledge everything you have accomplished. You have worked so hard to complete your studies, but we know this past semester posed many new challenges for you as you continued your studies during a global pandemic. With that in mind, please know you are prepared for industry more than ever before. Organizations across our province and around the world, of course, have pivoted under these trying circumstances, but so have you, which means you're ready to enter, disrupt and push our industries forward. We're counting on you and we know you can do it. And to our faculty members, wow, thank you for everything you have done to help graduates succeed and be able to celebrate today. Your tireless dedication of finding ways to continue teaching during this time undoubtedly played a part in getting us all here today. I also want to take a moment and congratulate all our gold medal award winners. Normally, I would have the privilege of handing these medals to you as you walk across the stage, but we know this year is different. And so I'm happy to be sharing a few words with you now to acknowledge this high achievement and honor. So again, I want to say a very big congratulations to our gold medal award recipients and to everyone who is celebrating today. Thank you for representing Red River College proudly. We are honored to be in your company. Have a great day. Thank you, Lauren. The Honourable Ralph Eichler, Minister of Economic Development and Training, will now share a greeting on behalf of the province of Manitoba. I would like to thank interim president, Dr. Christine Watson, graduates, family and friends for the opportunity to bring greetings for today's occasion. I'm honored to be included in Red River College's virtual convocation. Congratulations to the graduates. I applaud you for your dedication, study and achievements. You have persevered through something that we have never gone through before. It's also important to acknowledge your family, and friends who no doubt played an important role in providing support to you in order to help achieve your academic goals. I would also like to thank the faculty and staff at Red River College who have had to quickly adapt to make adjustments to programming to help students graduate. This dedication to students, advancement of research and innovation, and service to the community is appreciated. Red River College grads, now more than ever, will be relied upon to help real build our province's economy. No matter where you go, the college is part of the sector that makes part of the machine works and our economy work together. I'd like to again offer my congratulations to all the graduates. I hope you take time to celebrate your achievements with family and friends. I wish you continued success in future endeavors. Once again, Congratulations. Thank you, Minister Eichler. I will now call upon Avery Helderson, Vice President Academic of the Red River College Students Association for her remarks on behalf of the students and the Students Association. Good afternoon, graduates. It's an honor to be here today to bring greetings on behalf of the Students Association. Graduates, your final term was unlike any other. You have faced challenges and obstacles that were not listed in your course description, outline, or ever thought of. This makes your accomplishments nothing short of extraordinary. However long you have been at Red River College, whether it's months or years, you are now able to say, I graduated and no one can take that away from you. This certificate, diploma, or degree will help carry you on the next steps of your life and who you wanna be. You have all gained so many skills from the college and frankly, COVID-19 as well. These accomplishments make you special. They set you apart from the graduates before you. Never forget the hard work you have all put into your education because you will show the world what you are capable of. You have learned so much from this experience. So congratulations, graduates of Red River College. This is, there is so much out there for you, but don't forget to take a moment to appreciate all you have accomplished so far. Don't forget the friends, memories, 
experiences, and lessons learned along the way. Red River College is your home. You are a rebel. So on behalf of everyone at the Red River College Student Association, we wish you all the best of luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Avery. I'm now pleased to introduce the performance of the Honor Song. This tradition began on Turtle Island and was performed as a way to acknowledge those who have accomplished a great goal. Lawrence Spence from the Summer Bear Dance Troupe will now sing the Honor Song in recognition of the achievements of our graduates. I would ask for the platform party and those joining us from home to please stand. Platform party, be seated. I'd ask that students at home remain standing. At this point in our ceremony, we ask our graduating students to remain standing. And I would ask Dr. Christine Watson to please step forward. I request that you confer upon our candidates in absentia the academic credentials for which they have qualified. Graduates, by the virtue of the authority vested in me, I admit all of those to certificate, diploma, or degrees for which the prescribed studies have been completed and with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. And usually at this time, we would ask you to move your tassels from the right to the left. But as you'll have the opportunity to cross the stage and do the tassel turn at another time, I simply ask you to join me now in a tassel twirl. And I'll invite our platform party to rise to congratulate our graduates of 2020. Congratulations, graduates.
By now you've received your graduation package in the mail with your parchment and alumni pin. I hope you're all holding your tassels for the tassel twirl. We encourage you to take a photo of yourself as you hold your parchment and wear your alumni pin proudly. Once you have done so, we would love for you to share your photo along with your fellow graduates on social media by tagging Red River College and using the hashtag RCAlumni. We may not be together in person, but we can still come together online. You are now alumni of Red River College and part of an ever-growing number of this community. Some of you may even have a parent or family member or friend who is also an RRC alumni. We acknowledge all of you to today as well. I would like now to call upon Red River College alumnus Charmaine Jennings to welcome our newest alumni. Charmaine is a graduate of our Creative Communications program and now the founder and CEO of both Strategic Charm Boutique and Hustle and Charm. Charmaine. I'm honored to be here today with the platform party and with all of you watching from home, including faculty, administration, family and friends, and of course, the graduating class of 2020. It's no secret graduation is looking a little different this year. These last few months have been a roller coaster, but nothing will take away from the fact that you've just reached a significant milestone in your life. You worked hard to get where you are today, and I want you to know how proud we all are of you, your dedication to learning, and your accomplishments. I graduated from the CreeCom program here in 2013. I have a passion for learning, but before embarking on this program, I had no idea how big of an impact my time here would have on my life. The college provided me with a hands-on learning experience and gave me the tangible skills I needed to succeed and excel in the professional world. It provided me with the freedom to express my creativity and big ideas and to create opportunities I knew would help me in the public relations events and communications industries. After graduation, I became an event planner for a company here in Winnipeg before moving to Alberta to explore other career opportunities where I did event planning and social media marketing for a college in a small town. As much as I loved branching out and trying something new, I quickly learned there's no place like home. Manitoba is an amazing province filled with tons of opportunities. Among our prairies, you'll find endless creativity, innovation, and a supportive community who doesn't hesitate to lend a helping hand to help lift you up to your highest potential. When I moved back to Winnipeg, I was honored to accept a position at the very institution that provided me with a grade A education. I worked in the College and Public Relations Department here at the Notre Dame campus, and I got to experience firsthand just how much faculty and administration really care about our students, how hard they work to maintain the highest quality of education, and their dedication for setting you all up for the utmost success. Now, seven years after graduation, um, my experience working with different companies and institutions, I am now a proud entrepreneur. I founded my first business, the Peter Tran Boutique, a little over four years ago. With this boutique agency, I offer social media strategy and content marketing services to other entrepreneurs, small businesses, and organizations around the world, from Canada to New Zealand and everywhere in between. I'm also the founder of Hustle & Charm, a sisterhood of women in business in Winnipeg and Calgary who come together for workshops, seminars, roundtable events, and to support one another in life and business. I give many thanks to the faculty and administration of Red River College for providing me with the tools and support I needed to reach my entrepreneurial goals and the encouragement to strive for success. With both Strategic Charm Boutique and Hustle and Charm, I'm always wanting to expand and I am looking to bring on interns and team members. So if you're looking for a foot in the door of digital marketing, community building or entrepreneurship, I have a door open for you. I leave you today with a reminder that you are special you are determined, you are capable. While the world may be filled with uncertainty, know that your importance and your value in it are not to be questioned. You were meant to do great things and you now have the knowledge, skill set, and never ending support to take this world by storm. Congratulations to the class of 2020, you made it.
Thank you, Charmaine, for those inspiring words to our newest alumni. We'd like to thank you all for being part of our Red River College family. Graduates, your achievements would not have been possible without the people who supported you throughout the journey. Your instructors, coordinators, chairs, family and friends who have walked with you every step of the way. I ask you today to reach out and acknowledge them and thank them for their support. Thanks to our platform guests and all of you for joining us today. We look forward to celebrating with you at an in-person convocation sometime in the future. Thank you graduates for choosing us, for choosing Red River College. We're all very proud of you and your accomplishments. Graduates and guests, this concludes our ceremony. And once again, thank you all for joining us today.